Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying how to make a bar graph. And here I have some data. These are the quiz scores of a fourth grade class. What's that, Mathy? Oh, he's saying it was a math quiz, right? Yeah, we can think of it as a math quiz. And these are the scores. So, for example, five means that one student got five in the quiz. Another student got ten. A third student got nine, and so on. And so we want to make a bar graph out of this information here. We have to start out by making something called a frequency table. I'm going to make it here. Or I'm going to fill it in here. Frequency means how often. Okay? Scores are the possible scores in the quiz, such as, you know, five points, six points, and so on. And how often or how many students got that? So, five. Some students got five points, but how many? Two students. That's how often or how many, the frequency. And then six, we need to count here, there's one, two, four students got the score of six points. And then seven points, we have one, two, three, four, uh -huh, six students. And then eight, nine, and ten. Eight, one, two, three, four. Nine, one, two. And ten, two. Did I get that right? Now we are ready to draw the bar graph over there. And it has a line or an axis going up this way and another axis going this way. Now these numbers here are for the frequency or for how many students. So I could write here how many students or I could write here frequency. I'm going to write this time how many students. And over here go the possible quiz scores, such as we, we were starting with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. For each of these, I will then draw a bar or a rectangle. And let me add one more thing, which is score. These are the possible quiz scores. And so how many students got five points? We read in our table those two students. So now we draw the rectangle here. Then how many students got six? Again, looking over there, four students. So now this time we need to draw it four high. And then seven, six students. Okay, that's was quite many. And then eight points. How many students got that? here at four again and then lastly two students got nine and two students got ten okay and if you want to you can color these in with pretty colors now lastly we're gonna solve these questions here they relate to the graph how many students got at least seven at least seven points okay they got seven points or more. That's what it means. Seven, eight, nine, or ten points. So here we have six students and four students and two and two. And you add those. So we get ten and four. Fourteen students got at least seven on the quiz. How many students did really well? They got nine or ten. Okay, these and these. That would be four students, right? How did the quiz go overall? What would the teacher think, for example? Okay, this is how the quiz went. We can see that many students got kind of a um, middle score, seven, and some got a very good score and some got not so good score. I would say the quiz went kind of regular, normal, usual. Okay, let me write the answer here first. Regular. What was the most common score? Okay, the highest bar here is for the score 7. And how many students got that? That was 6 students, right? And then, how many students did poorly? They only got 5 or 6. Can you read the graph? 
and see how many students did poorly. Two students and four. So we have six students here. And now we're all done with this lesson.